guys welcome back to my channel before we begin i would just like to give a quick shout out to nails by k hey girl you were the first to comment on my video and i just want to say thank you so much for all of your support just a quick fyi i am having a giveaway and it will definitely be in one of next week's videos so please make sure you have my notification bell on and that you are subscribed so you don't miss out so today i'm going to be telling you guys why you should never date a hood man a dude that's from the hood i'm gonna tell you today why you need to stay away so this is the story time about the first and the last hood dude that i ever met dated experienced i would never do it again let's get into this story y'all so i was in high school at the time and i met this guy we met on instagram and everybody knew him he was you know a hood booger got kicked out went to like bad kids school I don't even know if he like finished school or not like he was a bad boy drug dealer everything weapons everything like he was xyz cross out everything on the list he did it he was that <laughs> and of course I'm I'm going through my bad boy phase so I'm so interested like I'm just so Google eyes like y'all ever see pictures on Instagram of them like holding up gang signs and stuff <laughs> Like, it really just made me happy. <laughs> I don't know. And I know every girl goes through this phase. You can't say you haven't went through this phase. But anyway, so we started talking and, you know, I'm feeling him. And now it's time for us to go on our first date. I'm from the hills. He's from the hood. We're just two different people. We grew up two different ways. Like, from him, I'm considered to be from the hills for sure, 100%. So it's time for us to go on our first date, and I was, I don't know, I think I was 16 at the time, or like 15 or something, definitely like 16, and my parents, I told my parents, like, I want to go out on a date with this guy, can you drop me off, because um, I didn't have a car, he had a car, he wasn't supposed to have a car though, and there was no way my parents were letting me get picked up, like, no, this is during the time where my parents had to drop me off everywhere. So they were like, oh, you're going on a date. We're coming with you. Whoa, bimbos. I'll never forgive them for that. But yeah, so they came on my first date with him, with me. We went to Carabas. It's a really nice Italian restaurant. Well, it's not really nice. It's like, it's a, it's like an olive garden kind of, but it's my one of my favorites. So it was me, him, and my parents. So me and my parents get there first. And of course, he's late. I'm embarrassed. I'm like, are you coming? I'm like, I'm starting to think that he's not going to show up. I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. He pulls up late, probably like, I want to say 30 minutes later. He comes in the restaurant. My parents are seated and we had our own table. They had our their own table and he comes in the restaurant. Y'all get this. He came in the restaurant smelling like ganja he was high and he had a carton of orange juice so he smells exactly like a tree he smells exactly like that green and he bought his own carton no not bottle guys a carton of orange juice to an italian restaurant if you never heard of crab it's like olive garden and met my parents my parents were baffled, y'all, like, just baffled. And I'm sitting there like, that's mine. Ain't he something special? Like, I'm just Google eyes. Like, he's so hood. <laughs> so after our date, he asked my dad if he can take me on a ride. My dad was like, absolutely not. <laughs> and then he, like, he was really sitting there begging to take me out. So my dad was like, have her home in five minutes. Y'all, mind you, he wasn't supposed to be driving lied about his age said he was like had a valid license like lied about his age we're driving get pulled over he got a freaking uh weapon in his cup holder and at the time when we're driving i'm thinking this is cute and everything we're pulled over i don't know how he got out of that but he got out of it he must like no cops around the area so he drops me back off home and he stays over my house for a little bit Y'all, this is like probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. So I'm just included in here real quick. But 
we're sitting on the couch in the family room because boys aren't allowed to come in my room are you joking if you had a household like that you're lucky because never Uh uh-uh I I'm grown I wouldn't even be able to do that now and I'm grown I'm 22 years old I'm about to be 22 years old there's no way so we're sitting on the couch and then I like got on top of him and we were just kissing a little bit my parents were upstairs so they weren't like looking at us I get off top of him y'all my period started I bled on him a little bit he had a white shirt on and I drop two it was probably like two big drops of blood on him he had on a armani armani exchange shirt i'll never forget it because i took his shirt off and gave him a new shirt and told him i'll wash it and give it back to him look at the stains out that's probably like the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me i really bled on somebody like what don't think i'm dirty y'all I was 16 years old like i was tracking my period i don't know what happened i just don't know what happened so after that my parents hated him of course they didn't want me to hang out with him again but um what i dated him for a minute i was with him for a minute y'all even after i bit on him we still we was like you know yin and yang he just made me so happy but i went away to college and i was still messing with him we weren't dating but he would like drive up to my school sometimes to see me Uh, uh, uh. but unfortunately like I said he was from the hood y'all um I want to say about two years ago now or maybe like three years ago um he got shot up somebody came up to their car it was him and his friend in the car and um his friend suffered like injuries and stuff but he uh got killed and he's no longer here y'all so that's the story of my ex and why you should never date a hood but good because I'm embarrassed like are you joking I really you came on our first date late smelling like ganja with a carton of orange juice and I really wanted to mess with you ladies you look a fool I looked a fool if you're going through that phase snap out of it please (laughs) but anyway yep that's my story (laughs) y'all if you enjoyed this story time please don't forget to give me a like comment and subscribe We're almost at 5K, guys. We're almost at... My goal for this year is to have 10K by the end of the year. And guys, it's only January, February, March, and April. It's April 1st, and we're almost at 5K, half of that. Like, I love you guys. I really do. Oh, my God, I love (laughs) y'all. But, okay, so today's Thursday, so that means that I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.